Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I'm Ken, and today guys, I am here for a quick uh, pickup collection update video. Um, I've got some new pickups. This is all stuff that I've been, I don't think I did like an official pickup video uh, last week. So I've got some stuff that I got in from last week uh, to go over. I've got some subscriber mail. So I don't want this to be too long. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Like, comment, subscribe all that good stuff. If this is your first time, you know, discovering me, this face on YouTube. I talk about movies and physical media. Look at all that stuff I mean. I talk about physical media, guys. Hit the subscribe button. I would appreciate it. And uh, yeah, you know, leave me a comment. What have you been picking up lately? I always like to know, guys. I always like to know what you're picking up, what you're doing, what movies. Are, what movie did you watch? Did you watch a movie before you watch this video? What movie are you watching after this video? Let me know that stuff in the comment section below. I, I love to hear about that kind of stuff. I just love hearing about people's movie watching stories. It's fascinating to me. All right, so I got a big, I got a big stack of Blu-rays. I think I've got. Um, one 4K. I've got one 4K in this stack. Most of this is Blu-rays, though, so let's get right into it. This is a new release that came out this week. This is VHS uh, 99. So, of course, I got VHS 94. Look, this channel has become, like, the the spokesperson for Ratma. <laughs> like, if you haven't watched my monthly roundtables, I, I use Ratma quite frequently in an ongoing gag every single month. Uh, so, but beyond that, like, I love the VHS movies. Love the first two. Viral is not great, but I thought 94 was a good return to form for the franchise. So I'm excited to check this one out. Now, what I'm not excited about is the fact that this doesn't have a slipcover. Uh, that kind of annoys me because 94 had a killer slipcover. It was like embossed and everything. So I have no clue if I just didn't, I ordered this from Amazon. Did I just not get lucky? And, and is there a slipcover? Let me know, guys. Is there a slipcover for VHS 99? Have you seen it? Let me know. Uh, but either way, I'm excited to watch this one. Check it out. I don't know if I'm going to watch it tonight because I've got some other stuff to get through, but I definitely want to try to watch it this week for sure. Um, you know, the movie will still play, guys. If it, regard, if it, it, if it has a slip, cover, a slip cover or not, it'll still play. Sorry, guys. I'm always, always fumbling with my words. I just get excited when I get around all this physical media. Okay, so, you know take the plastic off. It didn't, it didn't look great with the plastic, you know, it would look better with the slipcover. Um, and then I'll open it up pretty, you know, basic, but you got a disc inside. Uh, creepy. You got this old lady with the, with the 2000, you know, I guess they're going to have like a new year's Eve sketch, but yeah, I, I love these movies. Um, and yeah, VHS 99, but I did because I love these movies and because I realized that I did not yet have this one on Blu-ray, had it on DVD, but not Blu-ray. Uh, I, I went ahead and grabbed VHS 2. And much to my surprise, this one did come with a slipcover. So how does a movie that's been out for... How long has VHS 2 been out on Blu-ray? Like, it had to... It has to be, like, at least, like, 9 or 10 years. Like, this movie came out in 2012. Um, this one has a slipcover. came with a slipcover, embossed and everything. But VHS 99 did not. I, I don't know. But I saw this one when I when I was going to check out with VHS 99. I saw that this one was 10.99 on Amazon. So get on there and order this, guys, if you haven't already, uh, because you just might get it with the slipcover still. They might have pressed new slipcovers or something. But really cool slipcover though. Like like I said, that skull right there is embossed, and it's really nice. This was a magnet release, so back when these weren't shutter exclusives coming out from RLJE. Um, but I love VHS too. I bought uh, the first VHS, I think, off of Hamilton Books like last year. I originally watched them on Netflix like way back in the day. I just didn't own them physically until recently. But yeah, cool movie, guys. All the segments in this one are just straight bangers. Like the one with the cult, um, the Asian cult is like the best one. Like it's, it's a great like movie in itself. Uh, but it's only like, you know, 30, 40 minutes because all these are shorts. It's an anthology. Uh, but, you know, VHS movies are, are great horror, found footage, horror anthology. So if you like that kind of stuff, uh, you know, check them out. They're good movies. Um, I got some, I got an Arrow release in that was sent to me by, uh, by the good folks over at MBD. I got Warriors 2 right here. But I'm going to go ahead and show this off and unbox it and all that good stuff for you guys. 
definitely got i've got so much kung fu in the collection now like it's it's completely ridiculous i need to do like two months worth of kung fu uh at this point to catch up nice slip cover though i like the feeling of that slip cover i'll go ahead and show you the back right there you got the synopsis and you got the you know all the special features right there looks like a really good amount of special features and then we'll go ahead and show this off to you guys bam open it up and of course with the arrow video releases you get the poster you get a nice little booklet on the first runs um so always some good stuff with arrow guys you gotta like i said nice little booklet right there great stuff great stuff do you like warriors too let me know love the disc art right there and you do have this poster two-sided poster oh oh my goodness oh my goodness Bam. Bada boom. Bada bing. Warriors 2, guys. Check it out. I'll leave the link down below in the description. I'll also link um, VH, v, VHS2. I'll also link VHS2 down below in the description if you want to grab that. Like I said, it's only 11 bucks right now, and you might get it with a slipcover still if you don't own it. Um, okay, so this next one. Okay, let me do this one first because this was also sent to me by MBD. This is uh, one of their new MVD Rewind Collection editions, and that is, this is spine number 48, L.A. Wars. Um, so I actually watched this, and if you like those kind of like action, kind of exploitation type of movies, like there's definitely some nudity, some sex and stuff uh, sprinkled into this one. A little bit of, it's got some good, some well choreographed action, like you could tell the person that directed the action or choreographed it, like knew what they were doing. But it's really kind of a, a silly movie. <laughs> like the performances are not that great. And um, yeah, I'll, and I'll say this about the transfer. Like this must have been like extremely hard for them to clean up and put on Blu-ray because the transfer does not look uh, that great. But if you want this, you know, on Blu-ray, you know, get this MVD Rewind edition. I don't know how it looks because I know that Vinegar Syndrome did an edition of this like a couple of years ago. So I don't know how it looks on the Vinegar Syndrome edition. I imagine it probably looks the same. It's probably sourced from the same transfer. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. If you want to collect the MVD Rewind editions, like some of the transfers really just aren't the best anyway. But this one particularly was like DVD quality to me. Um, but yeah, LA Wars. Got a cool slipcover at least. I'll show you the back. And it does have some special features. But I think that all the special features are from the Vinegar Syndrome release uh, that came out for this one. All right, but the cool thing about, uh, you know, the MVD Rewind stuff is they do have reversible cover arts and they got some cool discard and they always have posters inside as well. So they, they really do up these editions. I'm pretty sure this is like $17.99 or something. Again, I'll link that down below as well. Uh, but you get a small little poster with it. Um, but yeah, the silly performances, silly movie. Um, but, you know, it's kind of fun in parts. And you got some nudity, if you like that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, reversible cover art just shows the original image right there. And getting into my next one, this is my first buy from Terror Vision. This is a new uh, boutique label that's starting up. They have done, uh, I think, vinyl and records. Like, I'm pretty sure they're originally like music. Um, and records again I don't know too much about them but they started to dive into the world of a boutique blu-rays and they've started a new line and uh, this one caught my attention the Linnea Quigley uh, uh, horror workout so I've always heard about this one I I'm kind of confused on like what exactly this is like th is this a narrative um, like film like is this a structure is there a story to this is this like structure like an actual movie or is this like just a straight up workout video? Uh, with some horror stuff in it. Is that what this is? Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. But I thought it was a really cool release. And I've heard that this hasn't been like available to own since like VHS. So I went ahead and snatched this one up. And I do like uh, Linnea Quigley. Like she's been in so many of the most like iconic 80s films. Return of the Living Dead. Um, Night of the Demons. Like she's just been in, in tons of stuff from the 80s. So had to check this one out. And the slipcover is just freaking fire. It's freaking awesome.
But right there, guys, I mean, and this is like, I got this in uh, a couple of days ago and I took it out and I was like, okay, TerraVision's going from that for that for that vinegar syndrome audience because this slipcover is like just like a vinegar syndrome slipcover. But you got the TerraVision, uh, you know, spine symbol down there and the spine number. This is spine number 11. So this is, like I said, relatively new line. Uh, that just got started. I'll link their website uh, down below in the description. I just talked about them on the physical media report this week. Um, but yeah, definitely a label to watch out for because I think they're going to be doing some really cool stuff uh, this year, the rest of this year, and then next year. I think they're going to be they're going to be heading for that vinegar syndrome spot. Like that's they're they're gunning for vinegar syndrome. I can see it. I can smell it on them. I can see it in their eyes. I can see it in your eyes, Terravision. You're wanting that vinegar syndrome audience, and you just might get it if you keep releasing stuff like this. Really cool stuff. Uh, but let's see. You got on the back. I'll give you a work out you'll you'll never forget that's what Linnea said but I just love the spine on this one with the green and the yellow like it's super cool all right now let me unbox this thing I don't, I don't even think I've taken this out of the slip cover yet really cool stuff it's different artwork alternate artwork on the slip I'll show you the back right there I imagine you get some new special features in this as well some really cool stuff guys let me take this uh plastic off right here let me take the plastic off. But yeah, Linnea Quigley, something else. She was a icon of 80s horror. All right, let me open this up. Okay, you got a little card here on the inside. And yeah, like I said, they do, they're still doing like cool vinyls as well. Like I really wanted that Hello Mary Lou Prom Night 2 vinyl. And I'm really hoping that that means that they will end up doing Hello Mary Lou Prom Night 2 on Blu-ray because I really want that movie on Blu-ray. That is one, like, I just remember watching that one. I never, I've never seen Prom Night with Jamie Lee Curtis. I've seen the second one, like at least 10 or 15 times. I remember renting that from the video store when I was a kid so many times. So I really want that one on Blu-ray. Hopefully we get it. Uh, but they also have like other cool stuff like, uh, you know, Freddy's Nightmares, the vinyl soundtrack. So some cool stuff uh, coming out of TerraVision right now, guys. And it's not reversible cover art, but, you know, cool disc right there. You got some disc stuff going on. And then you got some interior artwork on the inside. So very cool. Yeah, very cool release from TerraVision. I am looking forward to checking out uh, more of their stuff for sure. And the last time I looked... Uh, this release right here still was sitting at like 153 uh, units left, so you might still be able to get this. Again, I'll link the TerraVision website down below. I'll probably just link to this release uh, down below in the description, so if you want to get it, you can check it out. And get it into my next pickup, I went ahead and grabbed my best friend's wedding on 4K because this one went down to like 1560. When it first came out, like last December, I decided to wait because... I like this movie. It's a charming 90s romantic comedy. It's got Julia Roberts. She's great. Cameron Diaz. She's great. Everybody's great in this movie. But I just, I don't know. I just, there's so much coming out. I was like, I'm going to wait on this one because I feel like it'll drop. And it did. It was like 23 bucks when it came out, dropped down to 1560. So I snatched it when I went down to that because I figured I would still get the slip cover to this one. I don't think that this one sold like extremely well or anything. Um, so I still got the slip cover with it. And it's a really nice slip cover that. I do like a lot. And then you take the slipcover off and it's the same image. Sometimes with Sony, you'll get different images, but right there, guys. I don't know if you got, uh, I think you might have some new special features with this one, or maybe it's all the same. I don't know. But sometimes with the Sony releases, you'll get, uh, you'll get different special features, but it does have Dolby Vision, has Dolby Atmos, and Sony always does quality work uh, with their 4K. So Good stuff right there. Well, I'm pretty sure it's still on sale. It might not be 1560, but I think it's like 17 or 18 right now. Uh, so if you want to get it, again, I'll link it down below in the description. All right, now let's get into the real cool stuff. Um, so Diabolic recently put up, I think they sent out like an email. I'm, a, I'm on like their text notification list. Um, and I think they sent out a text saying that all their Vestron video titles were down to 1550. Uh, so I jumped on there real quick because there's still several of those that I was missing and I didn't know if they would come with the slipcovers. I did a whole video on this, so I notified you all of this as well. You can't say I didn't notify you. I did a video, I think last week, uh, talking about it. I didn't know if they would come with the slipcovers, but I had a hunch that maybe they would. And I got eight of the Vestron video titles that I was missing with the slipcovers. Um, so that was super awesome. So it feels like they're repressing a lot of the... Uh, Vestron video uh, slip covers. That's why we're getting them. So uh, definitely cool stuff. But let me show you what I got. I got uh, I got parents. 
you know, with Randy Quaid and who is the other? Mary Beth Hertz is in this one. So I haven't heard the best things about this, but this is a line that I do want to complete because it's not, you know, too many additions. I think they're up to like 30 something by now. Um, if that's, I don't even know. I think the Dennis collection was 29. So they're, they're right on uh, the cusp of being 30, but a uh, pretty easy line to collect for, but after all these, I'm just missing two. So I got to jump on those and figure out what I'm missing and, and just go ahead and complete this line. But got Parents on Blu-ray. I got Chud 2, Bud the Chud. I don't even have the first Chud in my collection. I watched that on Tubi, I think, like a couple of years ago. Uh, that was pretty good. I, I haven't heard the best things about the sequel, uh, Chud, but yeah, I got the sequel. Um, I got Beyond Reanimator, which I've heard amazing things about. I love Reanimator. I don't know why I haven't seen the sequels, but I haven't seen Bride or uh, Beyond Reanimator. So I'm excited to watch this one for sure. And I'm pretty sure this one's directed by the same guy that did uh, the Dennis movies. Uh, Brian Usna. Yeah, Brian Usna did this one. So that's definitely cool. Um, also got Slaughter High. I, I haven't really heard too much about this one at all. So I'm excited to watch that one. Um, Warlock. So my memory with Warlock, and this is three films in this collection. Sometimes Vestron would just do cool stuff like that, like Silent Night, Deadly Night came out last year. They did it with this. Wishmaster collection was like four films. Um, and I think that's still, I've still seen that at Best Buy. But this is a three film collection. Warlock, Warlock the Armageddon, and Warlock 3, The End of Innocence. So I actually remember watching Warlock the Armageddon uh, when I was a kid. I remember the trailer for it played on like a, one horror movie that I had that I watched over and over again because I always remember watching the trailer to Warlock the Armageddon. And then when it finally came out, I was able to watch it. And the movie was not as good as the trailer was. Um, but I'm definitely curious to go back and watch the first one because I've never seen the first one. Um, I've only seen the sequel to that one. So. Definitely interested in watching Warlock. Awesome artwork on that one as well. Uh, Julia Sands, you know, who was also in Arachnophobia. Um, and then I got uh, Gothic right here. Don't know too much about Gothic, but it's that's a little creepy man monster guy up there. Uh, that's kind of creepy. And then I got uh, The Layer of the White Worm. Another one that I don't know too much about at all. Uh, but seems like a cool movie. It's got a cool little monster thing on the back as well. And then I got, um, it seems like a lot of fantasy stuff, like Gothic, Layer of the White Worm, and then Dagon, uh, which looks like the same cover as like a video game that I I feel like I have in my collection, like Dragon's Dogma, I think is what it was. Um, but yeah, I don't know what this is. This is some kind of like fantasy movie, but went and got this one, Dagon, HP Lovecraft story. So I like the HP Lovecraft stuff usually, like From Beyond, I think is amazing. So very cool that I got. All of these with the slips. So if they're still available on there, I don't know if that sale's still going on, but all of these, were, they were $15.50 a piece. So all of them together, um, you know, was was quite a bit, but I just couldn't pass it up. Like I got to complete this collection. I thought that that was a, a good opportunity. So couldn't miss my window. I set out a couple of the new releases this month because I got those, but I just, I had to complete it, guys. Had to. All right. So I got some subscriber mail in that I'm going to unbox. I got two boxes uh, to break into. I'm actually, look, I'm going to save this one for another uh, video because I already see that I'm running a little bit long. I want, I really wanted this to be under 20 minutes. I don't know if it's going to be under 20 though. Um, but let's see. Who is this from? Let me see the name. I'm just going to say the first name. This is from Thomas B. Uh, sent me this. So thank you so much, Thomas. I appreciate it. Oh my goodness. What is in this? Holy crap. Somebody sent me a bunch of, of titles. Like a bunch of titles. What is this? Hold on. Oh my goodness. Um, there's some stuff in here that I can already see that I have, but then there's some stuff that I do not have. Um, I have Starman. Um, I do have Starman, but I really like this movie a lot. So thank you for sending me another copy. Maybe I'll do a future giveaway or something with that. Um, and this looks like a lot of like shout and uh, factory releases. They sent me nothing but trouble, which is freaking, and all of these are, some of these are still sealed. So that's really cool. Nothing but trouble. I've been wanting to pick this one up for the longest time. I keep holding off on it, but I got it now. Uh, so thank you so much, man. Nothing but trouble. I really want to watch this. I've heard some crazy things about the movie. And then I got John Carpenter's Someone's Watching Me. This is one I definitely needed um, in that collection. Definitely a, a John Carpenter blind spot for me. I got uh, the tra the town that I almost said the town, uh, the town that dreaded sundown. I have never seen this one. Thought about ordering this one numerous times, and this is also a Screen Factory release. So, very cool. Thank you so much. 
Um, this is awesome. This is really awesome. Um, I got, uh, you sent me Dan in Real Life, which I think I had this on DVD, but I do not have it on Blu-ray. And I remember liking this movie quite a bit. I think I saw this in theaters. Uh, so very cool. Thank you. And uh, The Clove Hitch Killer. I have seen this one. The interesting thing about this one is it, it was shot around the area that I live in. Uh, so very cool. Like when I watch this, I recognize like locations around where I live. So it was really cool watching this movie. Uh, but Dylan McDermott's in this movie gives a completely like terrifying performance. Like he is so terrifying in this movie. But the movie's really good. Like if you haven't seen The Clove Hitch Killer, highly recommend it. I think I watched it on Hulu, but now I've got it on, on Blu-ray. Thank you. Um, but we're not done, guys. My goodness. Uh, Nosferatu in Venice. And this is a Severin title. My goodness. Thank you, man. I, I have not seen that one. Uh, just a lot of random stuff here, but some really cool stuff. I got uh, Tadpole. Uh, who is in this one? John Ritter is in this one. Sigourney Weaver, Babe, uh, Bebe Newworth, which is Lilith from Frasier. Cheers, I think. And she was also in the faculty. So really cool stuff. Uh, that's not John Ritter on the cover, though. I know that's not John Ritter, but he, he is on the back. Okay. I haven't seen Tadpole, so that's that's kind of intriguing. Uh, Scoop on DVD. I imagine this one. All of DVDs, I imagine, don't have Blu-ray, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, really cool. I, I think I've seen Scoop. I think I've seen this one with Hugh Jackman and Scarlett Johansson. I think I've seen it. Uh, Cassandra's Dream. I don't even know too much about this one at all. Haley Atwell, Colin Farrell, Sally Hawkins, Ewan McGregor, Tom Wilkinson. Um, very cool. Yeah, I haven't seen that one at all. Uh, and my God, the, we, the hits just keep on coming because you sent me the Warner Archive collection of horror thrillers, uh, which I do have Innocent Blood, but I do not have Body Snatchers, Wolfen, or The Hunger. Uh, so that's really awesome. Thank you uh, for sending that because I definitely want to watch, uh, Wolfen and the hunger. I've heard good things about the hunger who directed the hunger. Uh, trying to say it might take me too long. Tony Scott. Yeah. I knew Tony Scott directed that one. I'd heard that before. Uh, so very cool. And, uh, what is this? This is a inglorious bastards 10th anniversary Blu-ray collector set. That's freaking awesome. I've got a lot of Inglorious Bastards like collector sets because I've got that big uh, Zavi one that's up there um, in the corner. I don't think you guys can see it, but really cool little collector set of Inglorious Bastards. My goodness, you just want to get rid of some titles, I guess, huh? This is awesome. Uh, Best Friends. This is Tommy Wiseau and uh, Greg Sestero. I've actually never seen The Room. I've seen The Disaster Artist, so I feel like I've seen The Room because I've seen that movie. Uh, but I've never seen that one. I think this is their new movie. Is this a new movie that came out? Uh, this one actually came out in 2018, I think. But it says Best Friends, Volume 1 and 2. Um, okay, yeah, I'm going to have to check this out. I need to check out The Room, though, to be honest. Um, let's see. Red Heat with a slip cover. So I do have this. But I don't have it with a slipcover, so thank you so much for sending me uh, the slipcover. That's that's freaking awesome. Thank you. Um, and then Nemesis, um, I do have this in the collection as well uh, because I am trying to complete the MVD uh, rewind line. So, but very cool that you sent me Nemesis on Blu-ray. So that's man, uh, Thomas, you sent me some freaking awesome stuff. I, I got to give it to you. I'm excited about a lot of this stuff that you sent me. Uh, for sure, there's some... Oh my goodness, I got stuff falling, stuff falling, but let me fix this real quick. Um, you sent me some really awesome stuff for sure. I am definitely appreciative of all of this. Thank you so much. Uh, especially some of those Shout Factory, Screen Factory titles. Nothing but trouble. That's awesome. Uh, but look, thank you all so much for watching this video. It ran longer than I intended. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, maybe I can whittle it down a little bit, but thank you all for watching this pickup, subscriber unboxing video, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, follow me on my social media accounts down below in the description, and we'll see you next time.